So, Mr Chairman, we're here at the uh, UA for Congress. It's been a, it's been a great day. It's been a really good day. I think the, uh, the, the whole organisation has been good. UEFA's organisation is good. The hotel, the Grosvenor House have been fantastic. Um, I think uh, as a sort of post in the sense of being held in our country, I'm very proud of the way we've shown off London. Um, and I know UEFA are very happy with what they've, what they've seen here today. So very pleased, very pleased indeed. It kicked off in truly British style with the... Uh, with the Duke of Cambridge starting things off, it's great to have people like that supporting us. Well, our president, you know, we, are, we are very lucky to have uh, him as our president. Uh, he's been consistently interested in what we do. Um, he's a real football supporter, um, in spite of it being Aston Villa. Um, and, um, you know, I'm de delighted, really, with the support we get from him. We're, we're very, very fortunate. It's been a good day for David Gill getting voted on. Yep, absolutely. He's worked very hard. Um, he knows his way around. He'll be a very good uh, member of the um, UA for Exco and a, and a good thing for England, I think, to have someone, you know, a fresh, younger person on there. Jeff Thompson's done a fine job over the years. Um, but I, you know, it's, 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 we've had a change, and I think David Gill will... Uh, performed very well for England. David, congratulations, appointment to UEFA Executive Committee. Thank you very much indeed, yeah, it's a great honour. I'm delighted when the English FA put me forward, what, many months ago to stand as a representative to take it from Geoffrey Thompson. You know, Jeff, a good friend of mine, served the FA, but also UEFA particularly well, you know, since uh, the year 2000. Quite right, he was recognised today by the President and given honorary membership, which was a real testament to what he's delivered you know, to UEFA over uh, that period and uh, English football. You know, I'm looking forward to playing a part, a key role, representing you know, the English FA on that body, but also the whole of European football on that body. It's a good week for um, English football. The country is uh, hosting all this extravaganza, if you like, from UEFA. We've got Congress, we had the game last night. What do you make of um, this week in particular? Well, it's great. I think, you know, in terms of what Michel Platini brought in when he wanted to make this a, the week of football, as you said, quite rightly, say moving the, fri the final to a Saturday. Manchester United benefited two years ago. Didn't win it, of course. Uh, you know, the Women's Champions League final last night was good. And I think everything coming together as a season-ending finale you know, is fantastic. And I think Wembley, great, great venue, great asset of the FA, will be showcased in all its glory tomorrow. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be a wonderful game. Can go and watch the game without sort of my heart beating perhaps as much in previous years. But, no, it's fantastic. And I think it demonstrates that, you know, England the FA can put on wonderful showcases and uh, I think it will be a you know, wonderful um, occasion.